Um, I see we have some lights burnt out in the shop. Welcome back to Sleep Racing, everybody. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we uh, we got rained out uh, for Battle of the Wings. That's why there is no video of Battle of the Wings. So, apologize for that. But Mother Nature won the battle. Um, I see we have some lights burnt out in the shop. Um, ADD. So, looks like Dad has mine all washed up. Um, pretty much looks like it's ready for the oil change and get it ready for Wednesday night. This is Wednesday night. We are going to Thunder Hill Speedway. So, that's what we'll be doing. Now, a little different tune. Um, never done it before. So, these are the tires that we ran. I don't know if you can see these or not, but, um, these are tires. That's the left sides. And these are the right sides. Um, We've never touched them with anything. We've never touched them with a grinder. We've never touched them with a Cyper. We've never touched them with a Gruber. We've never touched them with nothing. Those are three years old. Um, and those are the ones that I'm running in my cart and have been for the last three years. So, I bought a sander from Harbor Freight. It's like 44 bucks. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna play with that a little bit and see what happens. So, um, we're gonna do that. Get them all ready to go. Dad should be home here shortly. So, all right, so, we don't have a fancy tire thingy, so. Oh yeah. Got my bucket, but it was kind of bouncing around, so I, Put some water in the bottom of it. So, um, this is what the tire looks like after I sanded on it. Uh, I didn't hit it real hard, but kind of just took that glaze off. So, I don't know. Like I said, never done it. Figured we'd try it now. Um, cart was good. Uh, at the uh, all on nationals. I uh, ended up second that night. So I think the cart's pretty decent. I just got to find a little bit more grip. So maybe this will help with that. I don't. I don't know. I. I guess everybody's doing it. So monkey see, monkey do. Um. But I'll set you guys up on a time lapse here.
but my GoPro kept turning off on me. So <clears throat> this week I went out and bought myself a brand new GoPro Hero 8. So that'll be on the helmet this week. So hopefully the footage is a little nicer and hopefully it stays on the whole night because I don't know what was going on with the other one, but it didn't work very good. So got a new one of those. Um, other than that, I think we're going to get into it and uh, I might go through my clutch quick. So we'll probably throw you guys up on a time lapse for that. Um, other than that, I think put the clutch on, bolt the tires back on, lube everything up, and we're good to go. So, uh, all right, please, somebody, comment, email me, whatever you need to do. Why? does the bearing keep pushing out of the sprocket? It's annoying. Noram, figure your shit out. Um, it's just frustrating because every time, every night, that bearing pushes out and the clutch gets tight. Every single night. And I don't know why. I've done it. Everything to Noram's directions and it keeps doing it. This is now my third clutch that's done it. All Norams. Maybe I should switch brands, I don't know. But yeah, it's frustrating. Oh, 
just about all I got it left to do, I believe, too. So. Yeah. There we go. Camera settings got all goofed up. Sitting there in 1080p and all blurry and every time I move. So. Alright. Well. So, we, we, I bought the grinder. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But. I'm going to throw my clutch guard on and be done, I guess. So. Well, I should probably put oil in it. Yeah. I'll put oil in so it's it off. Yep. 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 Yeah, I can do that before I load up Monday. All right, well, that's gonna be the end of the video. We'll end here. So, like, subscribe, share, do all the YouTube -y stuff. You got anything? All the fun stuff. All the fun stuff. <laughs> See you guys Wednesday night. <laughs>